All right. Three numbers are in the ratio 3 to 5 to 6. We're going to need to represent those numbers. Remember that when they're in a ratio, they each need to be multiplied by the same number. So we're going to say those numbers are now 3x, 5x, and 6x. One fourth of their sum is, so one fourth of their sum is three halves more than three halves plus the smallest. I'm going to write it out in words like this first, and then I'm going to replace sum and smallest with the other pieces. The sum is when I add all of these together. So 3x plus 5x is 8x plus 6x is 14x. So 1 fourth of 14x and 3 halves plus the smallest, and the smallest was 3x. When you have these word problems, the idea is to do the same thing as we were doing before. Get rid of your fractions by multiplying by the common denominator. For us, the common denominator for 4 and 2 is 4. So we're going to multiply both sides by 4. All right, now we're going to multiply. Since this is 1 fourth times 14x, we just need to multiply the 4 times one of them. So that's 1, and we're left with 14x. Now since this one is addition, we do need to multiply both of those things by 4. 4 times 3 halves is going to be 6, plus, and 4 times 3x is 12x. Just solve for x. Subtract 12 from both sides. 2x equals 6, so x equals 3. All right. So here are your basic steps. You want to first find the common denominator, multiply both sides by the common denominator, simplify and combine like terms, and then you want to solve for x. Those are the same basic steps you're going to use every time. All right, fractional equations. When we look at fractional equations, there's some things we're looking for. When you look at this, what do you notice? You have a fraction equal to a fraction. What is that called? That's a proportion. So we ought to be able to cross multiply. As we cross multiply, we get 4x minus 6 equals 6 minus 4x. We can solve for x by adding 4x to both sides and adding 6 to both sides. So we get 8x equals 12. We divide by 8 x equals, we can divide both of those by 4, so it's just 3 halves. Alright, we skipped a step right here at the beginning. When you have variables in the denominator, like you do right here, you need to talk about restrictions like we did before. Our denominator, 4x minus 6, can't equal 0. So we need to solve for x to figure out what it is that x can't be. Divide by 4, and x can't be 3 halves. Can't be 3 halves. Well, we discovered that x was 3 halves. That was our only solution. And since that solution doesn't work, there's no solution for this example. On the next one, we're going to go ahead and start by finding our restrictions so that we don't forget that. For the first one, what makes x minus 3 equal 0? 3, so x cannot equal 3. Then we need to factor the second one. If we take out a 3, we're left with 3 minus x. This doesn't affect it because that doesn't make it 0. What makes this 0? x is 3, and we already said x can't be 3, so that must be our restriction for both fractions. Now when we look at this, we have a fraction plus a fraction equals 0, so it's not a proportion like the last one. However, since this is 0, we can subtract 3 over 9 minus 3x from both sides, and what do we end up with? 1 over x minus 3 equals negative 3 over 9 minus 3x. Now we have a proportion.
and we can go ahead and cross multiply to solve it. Cross multiplying is going to be the easiest method, so if we can make it into an improper er, uh, proportion, we're going to do that. Multiply, so we have 9 minus 3x equals 3 times, that's a negative 3, times x minus 3 is negative 3x plus 9. You may notice that these two things are equal already. But if I go ahead and keep solving it, and I add 3x to both sides, I get 9 equals 9, or 0 equals 0. Since that's a true statement, 0 does equal 0, this means that any number we plug in will work. However, we have a restriction of x can't equal 3. So our solution is going to be all reals except 3. So x can be all reals except 3. Anytime you get 0 equals 0, remember that means anything will work. If you get 0 equals something else, like 0 equals 3, which is not a true statement,